Mr. Jankowski here in Hart Plaza, downtown Detroit. Behind me you will see a statue of Antoine de la Mothe Cadillac. He was born in southern France in 1658. Little is known about his time there before coming to Canada. Historians debated his very name Cadillac. According to Antoine, he claimed that he came from a noble family in France. But as historians researched this, they found a baptismal certificate that stated his name was Antoine Lamette. Cala came to what is now Nova Scotia in 1683. In 1687, he married Marie Therese. His marriage record was the first time where it officially stated his name was Antoine de la Mothe Cadillac. The French government named him captain in 1694. After that, he was stationed to take command of Fort Michilimackinac, which is located in current day Mackinac City, Michigan. While he was stationed in Fort Michilimackinac, he learned a great deal of the cultures of the Native Americans that lived in that area, which he would use later on in his career. He successfully convinced King Louis XIV to establish a fort on the Detroit River south of his location in 1698. On June 5, 1701, he left Montreal with a team going down the waterways until they reached the narrowest point of the Detroit River, which is present-day downtown Detroit. They reached that area on July 24, 1701. A fort was quickly started here, which Cadillac named after Count Pontchartrain. The name Detroit has origins which means City of the Streets. So while Cadillac was here, he ran into some trouble and was arrested in 1709. Even though he was praised for the success of the fort that he had established here in Detroit by King Louis XIV. So Cadillac was able to get out of the issues that had plagued him and later on would become the governor of Louisiana in 1710. After many requests by Cadillac, because he had little interest in that area, he was then taken back to France. So when he returned to France, he was soon arrested with his son in 1717. So there's a lot of information here outside of the Detroit area that you can find additional information for in the description below. But he did gain land in the Detroit area, but quickly after sold it. And he lived out his days living in France and passed away in October of 1730. So that's how Cadillac ended up here in Detroit. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you again later. Hey guys, it's riddle time. Your riddle for today is, what is always in front of you but can't be seen?